uh, Camp and Lindsay Parker just, they're flying at the moment. So, gee, I thought he could run a bit of a cheeky race, Em. Yeah, totally agree. Um, I think he will run well uh, devoted, uh, formerly uh, uh, with the league team and formerly also over in, in WA. I've got Pericles on top. Um, a roughie to consider is immediacy. Now, this is a horse who won the Autumn Classic, ran fifth in a Rose Hill Guineas and fifth in an ATC Derby. First up from a spell, trolled up to suggest 1,500 metres, a nice little kickoff point for him. A great kickoff point, and uh, we always know that Munamek will be able to hit the line strongly as well, but I'm also with Pericles, and I like the fact that James Cummings said that he is a horse that has got the right form for a race like this, and he's really well placed. Here we go. This is the So You Think Stakes. Think Stakes and Gates crashing away, and Pericles bounced away well with Independent Road. Buffalo River towards the outside is also in the picture. Honey Girl and Pounding boot up from their low draws. They were followed next by Muramasa Munamek, further back devoted towards the end, immediacy and also attrition well back and wide. 1100 to go. Independent Road, Pericles, and there's now Buffalo River. So it likes to do Sewell's the speed and goes to the front at the 1,000 metres by two lengths to Pericles. Further back is Independent Road, third outside of Pounding, a length and a half Honey Girl. A similar gap, Muramasa, and then came Munamek as they stretch out. Two and a half devoted immediacy and attrition is last. Buffalo River, 750 metres to go. Loves doing this. He now stretches them five lengths. Pericles second, two lengths Independent Road. A length and a quarter Pounding Honey Girl. Two and a half Munamek would spot the leader at least 10. Then came Muramasa, immediacy devoted and attrition. Buffalo River 500 metres to go. Three and a half to Pericles who's just starting to chip away now. It's almost two lengths. Four lengths independent road pounding Honey Girl. Then came Munamek and well back in the field is Muramasa immediacy but Pericles has taken the lead around the turn and the odds on favourite at the 150 puts up four lengths. Buffalo River boxes on independent road pounding come on with Muramasa but it's Pericles, 100 metres to go, two or three clear, and the favourite wins. Pericles from a real go. Muramasa all pounding that independent road. Munamek further back, attrition. Next, immediacy devoted Honey Girl and Buffalo River. Oh, this horse probably deserved that win after the last couple of preparations he's had. He's been winless, but that was his race today. Just sat off the speed, of course, Buffalo River doing Buffalo River things out in front, set a cracking tempo. He just sat back off and waited, him for, waited for him to tire and then swooped and wasn't it the race-winning move, Lizzie? He is a horse with talent and he finally gets another win on the board. Um, and uh, Katie, that was a bit of a track gallop, really, wasn't it? We had Buffalo River up on speed, bowling along in front, and you could see that Pericles, well, he was leading up the rest of the field. But not only that, he had to really chime in just before that bend, so he used a fair bit of petrol, and you could see he got tired over the last 50 metres. He will improve from the run, but, geez, that was really pretty to watch, especially if you were on him. He does look as though he's back in business, and uh, Blake Shin, another smart ride here at the Valley. The run of Muramasa too, resuming he'll be a big, big improver off having a run under his belt. And uh, the Busted and Young uh, stable are absolutely flying at the moment. But to all honours to Pericles, as you said, Lizzie had to break, cart the field up and he did it so well. He just wanted, wanted it late, didn't he? He tied up a little bit there. Em, but um, yeah, all honours, James Cummings has had a brilliant day. Yeah, another good win and you're right. He will take further improvement from that. Let's hear from winning rider Blake Shin. Yeah, we're just waiting for those horses to go, but there was absolutely no doubting in that.